What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. So guys, every time I do like one of my latest purchases, my latest buys video, I always get a lot of comments that says, Anthony, where do you put all this stuff? You're going to need a bigger rig. You're going to need an apartment. You're going to need a bigger storage facility. Well, today, guys, I'm going to show you where I have everything stored on the inside as well as the outside of my minivan, starting with what's underneath my bed. These are the things that I have stored underneath my bed. Okay guys, this is what I currently have stored underneath my bed. When I get back to PA, some of these things are going to be put in my storage unit. Uh, I have my two big gray duffel bags that I have clothes in. I have my pot, my frying pan, my two pots, my two roadie side panels, and then I have an electric blanket that was sent to me as well as another comfy blanket that was sent to me. So those are the few things that I keep underneath my bed. When I get back to PA, I'm going to take the roadies out as well as the two little comforter things out. So not a lot kept underneath the bed. All right, guys, now let's check out some of the things that I have stored in the back cargo box here. Now I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but I'm gonna give you a general idea of some of the things that I keep back here. These are my Crocs. I have them in a bag. My flat grill. This is just a random tablecloth that I can use for whatever. My electric skillet, the top and the other pieces somewhere in here. <laughs> this is just a random bag. I try to keep things in a bag so that uh, I won't have a million pieces in here. And all this is is like, just some random stuff. Then my electrical stuff. All right guys, here's a look at what's inside here now that I have the top layer off. I have my ice maker there, my foldable sink. Then I have my little table here. Over there, I have all my types of gloves. I have my fly bags, traps there, uh, hammer and mallet is in there. And these two cases right here, I don't know why I have these, but I have uh, the different jack records and everything. This is just another random bag with a lot of different things in it. Looks like my lights are in there that I put around the gazebo at night. I have my gloves, my jigsaw, my outdoor grill, some more steaks, some more steaks here, the orange ones that I bought. So everything sits in here nice and neatly. And that's what I keep in there. So every time I make a purchase, I do take in consideration of where I'm going to store it. So it's not like I'm out randomly buying things without thinking, oh my goodness, where am I going to put this? So that's what my back of my storage box looks like. All right, guys, now let's check out what I keep stored up top. Now, I usually keep all of my long items up top. So let's take a look what's up there. All right, guys, now let's check out what I keep stored up top here. As I mentioned before, this is where I usually keep all of my longer items. I have my foldable chair up in here. This is my foldable table that I usually keep inside of the tent. I also have my two burner cooktop stove. I have my gray outdoor carpet that I put outside of the tent. This is my gazebo tent. Of course, I have a new tent coming. It should be there now when I get back to PA. I also have my canopy up in here. I have my mop 
a broom and a dustpan in here as well. I have my floor that I bought for the gazebo that I will now be using to put underneath my new tent to, so that the floor of the new tent will not get dirty. And I also have my four weights in here that I either put around the tent to help keep that down or around the uh, legs of the canopy. And that's all that I keep up in here. There was a time where I had too much stuff up in here and I couldn't close it. So now I have exactly all the things that I need when I'm at a campground up here. And now it closes very easily. And those are the things that I keep stored up top. All right, guys, I also am going to try and squeeze my four pool noodles up there that I recently bought when I was at the last campground. Hopefully I can <laughs> squeeze this shut because I had them lying on the floor during my trip back from Georgia. And I don't want to keep having to move them up the front and when I want to be in the back of the van. So hopefully I will be able to close this up. All right, guys, I was able to close it up with the four pool noodles in there. Yay! Now I don't have to worry about them being on either my bed or the floor. Good job. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. It was a very short video. I just wanted to show you guys where I store things both on the inside as well as the outside uh, when I'm traveling and as well when I'm hanging out in PA and Baltimore. All right, as always, Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.